And for more on this, we're joined live by Vaughn's Mayor Maurizio Bevilacqua. Mayor, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Good evening. We've talked before about the idea of having a regional approach to reopening. That's exactly what we're seeing play out here today in terms of stage two. What do you think about what you've heard in this plan? Well, as you remember, this is precisely the approach that uh, I thought would be a wise approach. It's not a perfect approach, but it's a wise approach. Uh, our numbers, uh, although they're declining, which is the good news, Jackie, our numbers in the city of Vaughan are actually declining. I, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, but I think the province uh, has acted in the best possible uh, manner, uh, taking into consideration the fact that, that there are many hot spots, including the city of Vaughan, uh, in other areas around the greater uh, Toronto area. And this uh, process of, uh, of regionalization is, I think, probably the only real option that the premier and his cabinet has. And of course, these decisions, uh, Jackie, as you know, are made with. Uh, by consulting uh, the medical authorities who, who know exactly uh, what needs to get done in order to move on to the second phase. Obviously, at this point in time, uh, people want to go to the second phase here in, in, uh, in the city of Vaughan, but I do think that uh, today's announcement by the province uh, really makes it clear that the position that I've taken as mayor of this city over the, since the beginning of COVID-19 was the right one. It's reflected in the premier's uh, statement, and, and I think that um, it is with this uh, cautious approach, uh, relying on, on science, relying on uh, uh, health uh, professionals, uh, that we will get through this in, uh, in a way that is responsible and um, and long lasting as well. I know we've talked about this as well in the past, this idea of a regional reopening and the concern that some uh, local mayors may have about people who are in the areas that continue to see higher numbers going into those areas that have reopened more and uh, the potential for the virus to spread that way because, you know, they're you know desperate to get their hair done or their nails done or to visit um, other establishments in a capacity that they can't closer to home. And that because of that, this idea that there aren't any borders from with these towns or cities that that is going to see numbers increase in those locales well jackie as i said earlier it's not a perfect it's not perfect but in fairness it's also uh people in those areas that wanted the reopening as well and it does come with some risk mm -hmm. and uh, i think that uh, that's the reason why the city of vaughn we have a risk model that addresses many of the issues uh, related to uh, what we open, what we close, when we open it, and when we close. Um, this is uh, this is something that requires a life disciplined uh, approach. So when you're asking to reopen, I'm sure that the people that ask for their cities and towns to reopen factored this risk in as well. I want to ask you before we have to let you go about the Woodbridge Vista Care uh, home, the deployment of the military there. What's the latest there? What can you tell us? Well, you know the, the history, obviously, uh, and uh, now the military obviously have gone in. They're going to make a, a, an assessment of the situation. Really, my heart goes out to uh, to the people that resided in that in in that the center, the community, uh, and also to the families. But I think that uh, we're doing the very best we can uh, to make sure that uh, we improve the long-term uh, term care centers, not just in the city of Vaughan, but throughout the province. If there's one thing, the COVID. Uh, 19 really shone the light on was the fact that these centers do have some very serious challenges. Okay, that is Vaughn's Mayor Maurizio Bevilacqua. Great to check in with you again this evening, Mayor. Thank you so much. Okay.